Hey everyone. Hey. Hey, hey. This kind of sad time. Nah, it's okay. Got to realize to keep some things, you got to let them go. So here we are. Our weekend is just about over. About to head to the airport. Yeah, a little rough time, but you know. Had a good time. It was a, a weekend of unexpected events. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, you know, we made it through. And um, this is what it's all about, man. Sometimes things happen unexpectedly, but, you know, when those things happen unexpectedly, you know, it's the love. First of all, the love of God that keeps you grounded, you know, and then the love for each other that, you know, love is a choice. You got to you got to choose every day to love your significant other. You got to make that choice every single day. And if you don't make that choice every single day, when rough times come, then you'll want to be alone. I spend the whole weekend at the hospital with her. I spent the weekend in an uncomfortable recliner chair. I was cold half the time. I was hot half the time. I was hungry, you know. But, hey, it didn't matter. It really didn't. Because just to know she was getting cared for, you know. So love is a choice. You got to make that choice every day. But anyway, we are about to, like I said, head to the airport. Um, this is all a part of it. Long distance dating. Um you know, it's, it's never the same <laughs> because sometimes, you know, you're ready to, oh, this is how my mind thinks, you know, when I'm in this kind of predicament, I start thinking about other things that I have to do to be able to, you know, get you the next time. So now I'm thinking about work and, you know, thinking about what I got to do tomorrow and, you know, and that's how I progress. And, you know, that's, that's one of the secrets to life, you know. When, you, when you're going through something, you got to think about something else, you know. Allow your mind to, to progress into the next day or into the next hour so that this hour that you're currently in doesn't consume your thinking and stop you from moving. Wow, that's a word, huh? Okay. So anyway, um, this is where it's at. I know I took over this time, but, you know, this is where it's at. So what you got to say? It's rough. It's hard. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, I, I will say this publicly, that this man here is the absolute best. He is a trooper, like, was with me and making sure that I was getting the best treatment. Although, Advent Care gave me the best treatment. But this man is definitely, um, he is definitely my purpose. Yeah, Advent Health, man. Shout out to Advent Health mm -hmm. here in, in Tampa, Florida. Um, I'm going to call his name. He probably won't see this, but a um, dude named Shaq came in to check the vitals. And most importantly, and oh man, I forget her name. Was it Trish? Marsha. Marsha. A nurse, my first nurse. Whoo! My overnight Marcia. nurse. Marsha. Listen, if anybody knows Marsha at Advent Health here in Tampa on Fletcher Avenue. You tell her that we said mm -hmm. thank you again. They Some took, people are born to do this, mm -hmm. and others are just, you know, in a job. But, man, she done everything. I'm talking about everything. Mm -hmm. And we found out that we have a whole lot in common as well. I'm going to tell her business, but we have a whole lot of common as well. She's a great person, and I'm yes. telling you. Great she nurse. Is, yeah, great person, great nurse. She's really called to do what she does. So, yeah, Marsha. Shaq and uh, oh, and Miss June, <laughs> she's a transport June. lady that set everybody straight. You know what I mean? Miss June was mm. hilarious. She's like one of those man that that old you know, school. Yeah, old school. You used to see in the cafeteria. You know, mm. said, oh, I don't want that mashed potato, boy. You're gonna eat it. Boom. Miss right June was like, plate. I gotta take her to yeah. get her cat scan. Come on, let's go. Mm. Yeah, she <laughs> she set them straight. But anyway, shout out to Advent Health. But back yes. to the subject at hand. The subject I had, that was it, honey. Like, mm -hmm. you made sure everyone did what they supposed to do. You made sure that they gave me excellent care. You made sure that I was good. He made sure that, you know, he had plans for this weekend. But, unfortunately, I got sick. And 
he had to take care of me. So his plans were not what, you know, we didn't plan to spend a night in the ER and spend a night overnight. That wasn't the plan. But however, he, you know, made sure I was good, make sure he brought me clothes to come home with and to take care of me and fed me and all that stuff. He took good care of me. And that to me was a huge plus. And I just want to say publicly, like some women find it hard uh, to find um, for a man to come in their life to just lead and take care of them and be the comfort and be the provider and be all of that. But um, I'm grateful that I have you and that you fit that bill for all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're not perfect, mm -hmm. but by far, I can tell you we're not perfect, but am I grateful and thankful? Am I Someone grateful and oh, thankful okay. that um, God sent somebody like this in my life and who can honor who I am as an individual and who doesn't want to change me, you know, and I don't want to change him. So, just to say to y'all, be grateful for who God sends in your life and make sure that you cherish them and don't treat them like collateral damage from your past, mm -hmm. okay? And honor who that person is and let that person be who they are. Let them be the best of them, the best version of them. And that's all I can say. Dating long distance is hard. I'm the emotional one now. Can y'all believe that? I'm the super emotional one. Like, I cry everything. And he like, baby, you're going to see me again. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just want to check in and say hi and let you know to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check us out. We'll have more videos in another three weeks because that's my birthday weekend. And he's going to come see me for my birthday. So cool, comma collect. So we gonna say his saying. I'm gonna try to see if I can say it. Y'all pray for me. I'll be trying. Come on, baby. What is it? In the meantime. Okay. In between time. Take your time. That it can be another time. That we meet again. All right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. Mm -hmm. Bye. Peace.